I'm back with another video. Today is how OnlyFans ruined an entire generation. It's on both screens. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. OnlyFans has completely ruined an entire generation. Dog, when I tell you, nuclear bombs couldn't even do nearly as much damage as what OnlyFans did to our society. Where I knew OnlyFans was getting bad, when I seen people not even giving life a shot at the age of 18 and going straight to OnlyFans once the clock hit 12. If you thought that Reddit, TikTok, 4chan and twitter did damage just wait to hear all the damage that OnlyFans has done in this video now for the first damage that i think OnlyFans has done to society is that it's normalized a lot of weird behavior we live in a time where people get their back blown out in front of a camera for thousands of people to see but it's somehow okay because they make a lot of money that is not normal and that is not something that we should normalize slash celebrate look i understand that these OnlyFans girls be having lambos numerous penthouses a few rollies and more money than i could ever imagine imagine but at the same time they also have zero dignity if they can proudly brag about how their cheeks are getting clapped online for $4.99 a month why are we flexing our cheeks getting obliterated online I just don't think that's that, that is just weird to me another thing about OnlyFans is that it completely normalized adult films aka porn like i swear back then being an adult film star used to be one of the most frowned upon jobs ever but only fans has made it completely acceptable like if somebody told you that they did only fans you genuinely wouldn't be surprised nowadays but back then that would have been one of the most shocking things to ever hear another weird behavior that only fans has kind of normalized is spawn camping young women until they turn 18 for example y'all remember when danielle bergoli started only fans one week after she turned 18 and she made a million dollars within just just six hours of it releasing that means that there were some grown adults out there that found danielle bergoli attractive as a young girl but they wouldn't necessarily say that so they chose their next best option which was to wait for this young girl to turn 18 now they can see her naked legally like the concept of that being legal is just absolutely strange to me and whoever bought that only fans once she turned 18 needs to be locked up asap no rocky like i just find that insane because there's no way that That's funny as hell. He says spine camping. So she underage and you just waiting for her to spawn so you can snipe her when she hit 18. Now it's legal, it's not frowned upon, and it's legal and it's go and it's green. He said them people need to be behind bars. I'm here to tell you, buddy, the ones that invented bars and law enforcement. A lot of them, the superiors, they do this and they do worse. And they work and live beyond the means of man-made laws um you got police officers that's into this shit but they'll be who you least suspect it because they you think they supposed to work for what's right right negative and it varies to some out there that did spawn camp bergoglia however you say her name there's some out there that's spawn camping others or that's waiting currently because Bergoli just simply ain't they type or they haven't heard about her yet but this is more common than we would like to admit. If it's 8 billion people on the planet, I think that's bullshit too. Because what about outside the the ice walls and art? It, it may be more than that. They say 8 billion, I think, right? If Out of 8 billion, at least a billion of those. It's some of those. And it varies. It can be you like Bowie George, Low Transformers, Midgets, Incest, Bestiality, Pedophilia, Molestation necrophilia bestia did i say bestiality earth really like that just just know that i know we got the social fabrics and norms of things it's like it's these parameters up and then we all looking around to see who step outside the circumference as soon as you do that's when the populace point at you like get him he and they laughing at you knowing you one of those to begin with it's like everybody try to save face everything is a propaganda and perception game at the end of the day it's people that literally laugh at EDPs as well, and they one of them too, but they just don't have a face or a name. So, and they ain't out and about about it. They just secretive or whatever, but they into the same shit. This is more common than you think. That's why if I'm fortunate enough to have kids in the future, they ain't going to none of your schools. My daughter's in private school. You not exempt. Your daughter's in private school playing with private parts. I don't trust shit. Not getting shots, anti-vax, anti-everything, anti-establishment, anti-government. I don't trust shit. I know a lot of people is like these. From your babysitter, your, your school teacher, 
your nurse. It's a lot of people like that. I don't trust nothing around me. Get away from me. But let's continue. That the demographic of these people buying Danielle Brigoli's OnlyFans were like surprised. maybe 18, 19, 20, 21. They had to be like 40 year olds, 50 year olds, maybe even some 30 year olds in there. And we know damn well <laughs> That's that how a they lot look. of these dudes that bought this OnlyFans didn't just randomly stumble across Danielle Brigoli the day that she turned 18. These dudes most definitely found her attractive as a young girl. And they just spawn camped their way until she <laughs> made this OnlyFans. Now they can see her naked. <laughs> Yo, that's funny as hell. Yo, that's funny. Hey, spawn camped it. As soon as she spawned, they sniped their ass. Got her. That's not funny, like what he referring to, but that analogy, that's funny, bro. Spawn camped her. <laughs> you funny as shit, man it legally and go ham on the meat like that's crazy to me that is absolutely insane there's also numerous tiktok girls out there who have also made only fans once they turned 18 and they made bands because of these weirdos also like it's one of the weirdest things ever and this shouldn't be something that's like normal you know and as i speak there's probably some 16 year old tiktok girl out there that plans to make an only fans once she turns 18 and there's probably tons of creepy old men waiting for that day to happen which it's disgusting to even think about if i'm being real i think the age of only fans should be at least 21 but obviously that never changed because right now the age to sell adult content is 18 years old and for only fans to change their age the whole law would have to change as a whole and that's never going to change and since we're talking about weird behavior from only fans there's a lot of lies that goes on with just the business itself like there's a lot of grown women on there lying about being 18 and 19 years old to sell more subscriptions which is just absolutely insane even though those are legal ages i still think it's weird to lie about your age to sell more subs for example do y'all remember that one npc tiktok girl pinky doll mm, ice cream so good mm, ice cream so good gang gang i'm glad i don't see this bitch no more bitch wherever you are and whatever you are you you retarded like you didn't you responsible for a lot of little dumb bitches that's coming up that's gonna be a placeholder another you someday like this shit was, bro, let's continue. I don't even want to hear it. So she actually used to lie and say that she was 19 years old to sell more subs when in reality, she was 19. 27. And this actually happens a ton on Twitter. You'll see mad girls talking about they're the hottest 18 year old on OnlyFans whole time. They're 47 with six kids. Like it's insane. A girl could legit be 67 years old with the saggiest giddies of all. If you paying for OnlyFans, you need to go and get you a hotel. Go and get you a nice one, because this will be your last day. Go and get you a nice hotel, five star. Get on the elevator, go all the way to the top floor. Find the most luxurious balcony. And run and jump. Let's see if you can do a Neo Dia from the uh, Matrix. Believe in yourself, though, so you can fly off. But yeah, that's what y'all need to do. Imagine that. You can be doing so many things. You can... It's people out here that's starving. You can be helping somebody. You you helping yourself to, to beat away at something that you will never obtain. And they don't respect you. The ones that pay for the OnlyFans, and they they don't respect you. You're not the male they want to retain at the end of the day. Or when they get older and they feel the walls closing in. The walls, it's... When Father Earth... I mean, Father Earth. When Father Time start to take away what Mother Earth gave them at the age of 18, being a youth and beauty and... When they feel that slipping and they want to retain a male they see and they hear idealistically that somebody that's, they don't respect you and you will not be one of them. Let's continue. All time. But for some reason, she's in every Twitter comment section talking about I'm the hottest 18 year old on OnlyFans. Yeah, you were the hottest girl. 51 years ago, Sharon. Hang it up. Like I said, I think it's weird to just straight up lie about your age to sell more subs. Like, that's just disgusting. And even the old ass men out there that are buying these girls OnlyFans, they're also just as disgusting, if not even more disgusting. Now, another reason why I think that OnlyFans completely ruined society is because it made the internet even worse for women. Now, y'all are gonna call me a simp and white knight for 
for this, but just hear me out before you run to the comment section talking about my forehead is big. Just, just wait one second. <laughs> just hear me out. The reason why I say that OnlyFans made the internet even worse for women is because it made dudes comfortable with telling random girls online that they don't even know to make OnlyFans accounts if they find them attractive. It's the weirdest thing ever. Like if a girl goes viral and she just happens to be attractive, the first thing that dudes are going to say is to make an OnlyFans. It's the weirdest thing ever. For example, do y'all remember the Home Depot girl? For y'all that don't know, there's basically this girl who went viral on Twitter because she was attractive and she worked at Home Depot. And the first thing that dudes were telling her to do once they saw her was to make an OnlyFans. Like, peep some of these comments. Hear me out. OnlyFans and you equals rich. If you want to make an OnlyFans, real niggas wouldn't judge you. When OF. You're telling me that you see an attractive woman online and your first thought is she should make an OnlyFans? Like, I just find that insane. And honestly, I salute this woman to the fullest because at the end of the day, she chose her morals over money. She could have made life-changing bands off of OnlyFans, but she just chose to stick with her normal job and just create IG reels and make YouTube videos when the whole world was telling her to create an OnlyFans. Like, that is hard to do in a world where OnlyFans girls be having Lambos and just regular working women have yeah. Toyota Priuses. Like, that is a hard task and this actually happens to a lot of women that create content because if you look at their comment section on like ig reels or maybe tiktok or maybe even like if a girl is doing a youtube q a the first question that a lot of dudes are gonna ask is if that girl is gonna make it only fan look at his profile look at bro what is what is this Is that a bloody piece of steak or something like? Clock in at the nearest hotel, five star. So you can see the last of what, what life got to offer you for you. It's the end of the road. Go to the highest balcony, run and see if you can fly. Just jump off the balcony and see if you can fly. This your profile picture. These need to be the people that get doxxed and quick scoped up close. These need to be the people that get stream sniped. Like, bro, it's Look crazy at his name. because if you do have an OnlyFans nowadays, people are going to tell you to find God. But if you don't have one, people are going to beg you to make one. Like, it's a lose-lose situation. Another reason why I think OnlyFans made the internet even worse for women is because it also completely ruined Linktree slash just women having links in their bio. Like, y'all know how on Instagram, people usually will have like a link in their bio and that link will take you to maybe like a YouTube, Twitch, or maybe even like a clothing brand. Well, it's gotten to the point where if a woman has a Linktree in her bio, the first assumption that a lot of dudes are gonna make even myself is that that girl probably has an only fans when in reality that girl could just have like a twitch link in that link tree right but since these of girls are running so rampant nowadays and you can see them everywhere every dude is gonna automatically assume that any girl with a link in her bio has an only fans like it's sad to say but it's true another reason why i think only fans ruin society is because it gave people this money over morals mindset if there's one thing that only fans has taught me it's that people are almost always going to pick that dollar over their morals on any given day the other day i seen this post by ruby rose that said yo bitch got morals i got millions well, excuse me, Miss Ruby. I never knew that having no morals was a flex. But at the same time, I don't know what I was supposed to expect from some. Yeah, Ruby. Ruby Rose. I'm going to pick the girl with the morals. Because after all, even the money you do have, the millions you do have, don't benefit us. Not my archetype. I don't give a fuck about your money or what you're doing with it. I don't have no benefit to me. It's like saying... Uh, my car is out in the back. It's like saying that. Like, oh, okay, okay. Like, I wouldn't give a fuck. I want a nun, somebody that's dressed up, like, dressed up like that, indicating that them niggas ain't getting none. If you have a only fans, you're for the fans only. Like, what the? Damn all. Let's finish with the video. What the hell?
somebody that said sometimes you have to lie about your age when it comes to nfl players at 16 years old she had no morals 10 years ago and she still has no morals today it's insane don't get me wrong money is a really important thing in life because without money you can't do a majority of things but that money That's shouldn't true. matter if you don't have any morals slash if it goes against your morals like not all money is good money yeah that money from only fans might be good but at the same time it comes with a greater cost which is your dignity and future like i swear people don't even care about their digital footprints anymore because bro only fans literally leaves a permanent stain on your life it leaves a mark on your future family and i'm telling you you cooking now it leaves a mark on your your your, your family your future lady out there you your your past is your future my future is my future shout out the future she talking about morals so since that's all the way out the window for ruby and the others all the meals you got fucked by them archons still on you they energy still on you if they nutted in you and a lot of you bitches get busted and whether you got birth control or not that that guy ejaculation stay in you for the rest of your life it rewrites your dna you can have the biological father of your kid and your current kid biological makeup makeup can still consist of a whole nother male sperm like whoever fucked you and, and and busting you that shit is deep you think you just took a shower and you ate and you and it's been however long and you well off no that shit is deep i don't what the You ever seen the couple, uh, however long they've been with each other, and they start to look like each other? It's a real thing. Like, if a guy nutted in you, that's in you for life. Went straight up to your brain. <laughs> I don't want that. What the fuck? I will be Fox Motor rolling at this bitch with Dana Scully before that happened. Before I claim a thought, and this guy can raise their hand in the classroom and make tweets and try to... And try to get underneath my skin no diddy showing videos uploading videos commenting what he didn't did to her like yeah to put it in every hole she got in every hole she don't got that's a whole 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 you will not be able to make jokes like that about me it's, it's i think like that can no guy have the bragging rights to be like oh that no i'm gonna once your kids find out that you did OnlyFans <laughs> back in your heyday, that's going to be a pretty odd topic to even talk about. Y'all remember when that one blonde OnlyFans girl, Bro. Elle Brooke, was on Piers Morgan? And she was basically saying oh, how man. her kids are going to cry in a Ferrari once they figure out that she did OnlyFans. How would you yeah. feel when you want to have kids yourself? Well, I mean, that's... I, I don't really want kids right now. But, but you will do. How old are you? 25. Right, so you will do at some stage, probably, right? Maybe. When you do, are you going to be proud that... You have your little ones and they look at you and go, didn't you want to be a lawyer, mummy? What happened? Yeah. And you go, here, but look at all my stuff. They can cry in a Ferrari. Guess what? It wasn't a lie. Here's proof. For a limited time only, you can take advantage of our New Year's... Like, yeah. That was... <sighs> Man, what am I... What am I doing here? They can cry in a Ferrari. They know their mom was shaking ass and the kids got videos that's in the classroom as well. Your kid gonna be the butt of the joke that Ferrari ain't gonna mean nothing. Ain't gonna be getting bullied. But, but I'm in a Ferrari and you can't afford it. And he got a video and just show you your mom getting buzzed down. Bam. The guy that do that one, not the people in the Ferrari. It ain't nothing you can do at that point. It's over with. Cry in a Ferrari. Cry in a Ferrari, they can cry in a Ferrari. Guys, in the comment section, look at it from that. Would you rather be whatever is normal or even grow up in poverty or whatever? Or in exchange, your mother was a thought. Videos of her being exploited online for you to be crying in a Ferrari. Me, I would not. I will literally go and get face surgery and get a whole different face. So you can't attach that to me. Like, oh, that's your mind. You can't attach that to me. Hey, you cannot attach that to me. No. 
And then I would have quick scoped her ass for me having to suffer of her doings. And I ain't asked for that. But now I'm getting bullied by the world because of what you chose to do. I'm going to be on the next news station. And the story is going to be crazy. He quick scoped this mom up close. That's what you're going to see. That's crazy. Yeah, don't get me wrong. That Ferrari is cool and all. It's pretty it fast. Is. And I mean, it does look nice. But once your kid gets out that Ferrari and walks through those school doors, it's over for that. <laughs> it takes one kid in that school to find out you did OnlyFans. Guess now so. your son is getting his head dunked into a toilet on a Wednesday morning before PE class. <laughs> and other than you getting a swirly, you're going to get pants, be flipped over your boxes gonna get shoved in a locker the prefect gonna be on your ass <laughs> we're gonna be hitting your ass with slingshots imagine that especially if you got a son that's the worst if it's a male, you have a son in here, that's the worst. A daughter, I don't know how they'll take it for real. It'll still probably be embarrassing. Or the little thought probably grew up to be a thought too. Mom was a thought. I, th I think epigenetic just come from the father's side. I think. But hell, if you're around your mother, you're going to, and you see that, you're probably going to do the same thing. You're around it. So, yeah, it's relevant still. If your mom a thought, you finna be the next thought. But let's continue. You're telling me that it's okay that you get clapped online, pile drive, put in a DDT, and put in the walls of Jericho, all on camera for the world to see, but it's somehow fine because you have a Ferrari? That is absolutely insane. If you thought that bullying was bad now, just wait until 20 years from now. These roast sessions are about to get brutal. That's why you're ugly and your breath stinks. That's why your mom did OnlyFans. <laughs> If your mom did OnlyFans, you might as well go mute because that's the safest option. Like these OnlyFans pictures are never going to leave the internet. I don't think people realize that. And also just because you retire from OnlyFans, that doesn't mean that the pictures and videos retire as well. For example, do y'all remember the ex-adult film star Mia Khalifa? The other day, she was actually on Twitter talking about how the singer Tyla should stay away from these little streamers because Kai Snat and Tyla recently did a stream with each other. And when I tell you, all hell broke loose in the comment section because people just started dropping pictures of her getting clapped from like a why y'all be disrespecting the streamers and, and all that content creators like they some low funny goofy lame niggas that get beat up in real life they got no balls and they going for any and everything you decide to so choose to do like why it's like it's no respect on it like what the fuck I think it's cause what we grew on the what we seen at first. You know, you see the average little Caucasian male in a gaming chair and the cringy moments or whatever. So you associate that, and when you just hear that, that's what you think of. You think they all like that. Like, put some respect on his name. Talking about a low stream, you you should have never seen it. I know they got on your ass, little streamer, little porn star. What the fuck? You should have never fixed your lips to say that eight years ago dog and that's what i mean by that's these pictures insane. never really leave the internet it doesn't matter when you retire these pictures are always going to be there dog that scene probably happened <laughs> ages ago but since it's online that picture is now forever and what's even sadder is that when these only fans girls do try to be serious and turn their lives around no one ever takes them seriously like if an only fans girl tried to transition into different content like maybe youtube or when you got a pass as a female and you try to turn things around. When you turn things around, what was behind you was in front of you now. It's the same thing. It's how it works for you. All the males that have fucked you and however many submissive animations, spit in your mouth, did everything to you. you know, they makes be disrespectful as hell. And so I know they didn't do everything to you however many times, all different kind of archetypes. They nutted in you, bust on your, your face, you, you swallow. It's, it's in your brain you look like all of them you act like all of them you got the energy on you it makes it impossible to pair bond if you have kids with this female you're still gonna have pieces of these different males dna that consists of your current kid genetics and i guess you will inherit that through epigenetic memory too whatever the fuck they didn't deal what happened in their bloodline this shit is deep it's not oh you being petty 
and you better be a virgin too. It ain't that. It's not the same thing, bitch. Why do you want things to be equal? Who is naturally stronger, a male or a female? Right? It's how things work. Who can have birth and have kids and who can't? Females can have kids. It's not fair, but it's life. Certain things aren't supposed to be fair or equal. You must have come with balance. It's like they be trying to make everything oh equal. Ain't nothing equal in life. And it never will be. That's for the ones that didn't know about this. If your female was promiscuous and she been through all this, just know all that is relevant. That's centered. You fucking with the male she was fucking with at that point. Me, nope. It's over with. Or like Twitch streaming. It wouldn't work because a lot of people are only going to see them as that girl that was getting clapped on camera. I mean, it has worked in some instances, but a majority of the time, it's not going to work at all. For example, there was this one OnlyFans girl named Nala who basically stopped doing OnlyFans to pursue religion. And when I tell you, nobody took her seriously. Did she get baptized in semen? Biggest me. They baptized her ass in fluoridated water. Told her it was holy water. Hell nah. That's Theme of all time. This is delusion at its finest. Your entire internet presence is you not choosing God. And honestly, like, even though it's messed up, these comments are messed up, I can understand why. Because number one, it happened all of a sudden. And number two, she used to get clapped online, and that was her previous internet presence. Like, she went from worshipping the BBC to worshipping the Bible. Like, that's a pretty drastic change. So it makes... sense to why people don't really take her serious but that just goes to show how much of a stain only fans puts on your life you can't even convert to religion without people cooking on you and saying that you're doing it for clout or just bringing up your past like it's sad but at the end of the day like i can't really be mad at these people who are cooking on her you know all that being said only fans has done a lot of damage in today's society and I think that OnlyFans is like the new cigarette of this generation. Hear Miss me out, off. because I actually think this is like a really great analogy. At first, cigarettes were cool, trendy, and everyone was doing it because, I mean, there really was no research backing up why cigarettes were bad. Yeah, it was smoke going into your lungs, but somehow in the 1950s and 60s, that was considered healthy. But now, 60 years later, we've realized all the negative effects of smoking from all these studies we've done. And I think the exact same thing is going to happen with OnlyFans. It may seem cool, trendy, and normal now but 40 years from now people are going to realize how much damage only fans has done to their lives i think these only fans girls could even possibly go that route that a lot of these adult stars are going right now where they're unaliving themselves because of their past mistakes which is actually really sad to even think about even though i don't really support girls doing only fans and adult content yeah when you do that and you walk past god's men i'm one of them just how what god designed us to be and how to think and he designed you a type way how we look at you and we know of that, you literally a walking nut rag. I'm not holding the door open for you. I'll do that for women, for ladies. It's a difference between ladies, women, bitches, and hoes. Know, know your role, like like the rock said. So yeah, you think just because you a girl, I'm open? No. You don't you don't get what a what a lady get. You it's like you literally a walking nut rag to me. But it's not like, it still may you get what you need and want out of life if you work for it. But just, I don't want to adopt you. I don't want to shake your hand, none of that. That's, that's, what you, that's how I see you and I can't unsee it. I don't know how to unsee it. God made me this way to be this way. Disgusting. Just get away from me, peasant. It's the truth. And it is sad to see people unalive themselves for their past mistakes like it's it's really sad and that's been happening to a up. lot of adult stars lately but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below all that being said this is gonna wrap up the video if you guys made it this far i appreciate you if you guys enjoyed this video then i highly recommend yeah i've been hearing that too the only fan stars been um it's crazy and life real the fans you cannot come around and collect her reboot card it's over with man that's it for this video don't forget to like the video if you indeed like the video comment share subscribe turn on post notifications DM me the link via X formerly known as Twitter
Let me know what you want me to react to next or what you want me to talk about. Follow me on Twitch, Kick, and Rumble. Before we start rumbling, I kick your ass and you end up twitching. If she got a OnlyFans, she's for the fans only and forever. Remember that her past is her path. And my future is my future. Us versus them, man. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out.